Today we're going to go through 42 Crunch and how you can use it in Postman to perform a security audit of your open API files. So let's go ahead and get started. And to get started, we're going to search first for the 42 Crunch collection. Let's simply type in 42 into the Postman search. And for the second option, we'll see OAS security testing with 42 Crunch. That is the Postman collection that will allow us to run a security audit on our API. So we're going to click on that. Now, what you'll notice when we jump in here is the play button is not visible. And so this means that we are in a public workspace. And from a public workspace, we are not able to run the collection. So we have two options at this point. One is that we could fork and save it, as you see here. The second is that we can choose to export it and then subsequently import it into our own workspace. In this video demonstration, I will be exporting it and then subsequently importing it into my own workspace. Let's get started by clicking on the three dots here and choosing export. I'll follow the defaults and I'll save it directly into my Postman workspace. And we're replacing it there with the most current version of the collection. At this point, we're done with this layout. So let's click close. And what we're gonna do now is switch to our own workspace back here my 42C workspace, and we'll now go ahead and import this specific collection. You'll see that it defaults to the same location where I exported it. So I simply click on it, choose open, and import it. All right, at this point, we're ready to use the collection. Of course, we just need to configure a few different variables and then we'll be good to go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to sit here at the top level of the collection and we'll want to add in the security token. This is the token that you generate and retrieve from the 42 Crunch platform. And we have documentation on how to do that, very straightforward. You'll notice here that the value is set to 42C token. I wanna to make sure I name that variable correctly. And I'll add that in. And then I'll copy that from my notepad. There we go. And I'll go ahead and save that. Very important that you make sure you save. A little bit tricky sometimes. You might not notice when you switch around to the different parts that you haven't yet saved it. And then as you actually try to run it, it will be missing the proper variables. Now, the other item in here that we're not doing any change in is the 42C URL. This is your platform URL for the 42 Crunch platform. In my case, I'm using the default platform. If you have your own custom subdomain, you would want to put that in at this point. So we can go ahead and close this now. And let's jump into the actual collection here. If you choose to navigate through, you'll see additional API functionality, additional collection functionality. You do have more options that are what I'm going to go through today, but we'll stick here to our core functionality. The steps here are going to automate the creation of a collection, and that would be a collection within the 42 Crunch platform, not a collection within Postman. Subsequently, then it will create the API and then it will trigger a scan and it will be able to give us the results directly here within Postman. So what we need to do is we need to run through and choose the correct option for create an API. You know, you'll notice that there are two options here and I'll take you through both of these options. The first one I'm going to show you a bit more manual. And then the second one will be a bit more automated because it will run against a specific Postman API. But if we jump into the first one here, create an API, 
then we go to the body, what we'll see is an option to select the spec file. The spec file is going to be, uh, in this case, our open API file for the Pixie API, which we'll be using for the testing in this case. In this case, I'll click select files. It will bring that here. I'll go ahead and open that. And then at this point, I will be ready to go ahead and send that. So I'll save that. And so all we've had to done to do this basic setup is we've had to add in the 42 crunch platform collection. We've subsequently added in our 42 crunch API token so that we can interact with the platform. And then we have provided our open API file manually. So let's click on core functionality and we'll run it. So we'll run these four steps. Now I mentioned that there are two steps here, one for manual, one from a schema. We don't want to run both. So what I'll do for the first part is uncheck this and we'll go ahead and run through with this here. And let's go ahead and click on that. Perfect. So in this case, you can see the steps have gone along successfully where I've created a collection. I've created an API. I've then retrieved the security report. And so I can see here in this case that my API security score is 89 out of 100. Now we are going to visualize this report here directly within Postman, but I'm first going to give it a try using the uh, create the API from the Postman schema. This will be a better workflow for us than having to manually choose the file as I just did. Let's go ahead and close this out. And to do that, you'll need to create a separate environment. Now, one thing to note is that everything I'm doing here, you can see the same steps when you click on the collection and then look at the documentation here. But let's jump into the environment. We'll create a new environment. We'll call it 42C. And we'll just add in Pixie. Now what we need to do here, we need to add in two different variables. One is going to be a Postman API token, which you can generate through the Postman uh, user interface. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call this Postman API key. And again, in this case, I'll go ahead and copy it from my notepad. And there I have the key. Now the second thing I'm going to need would be my actual API ID. Let me go ahead and save this and I'll keep this open. But what I'm gonna do is go to APIs, pull up my Pixie API, and then I'm going to go to the information section, which you can find over here, and you'll see an API ID. Perfect. Let me copy that. And then I'm gonna go back to my variables here. And this one is going to be called API ID. The I there in the ID would be uppercase. Let's paste that in. And we now have our two variables that we need in order to retrieve the open API file from the Pixie API within Postman. Let me save this. All right, I'll go ahead and close everything up and go back to our collection. We'll again go to core functionality and we're gonna to wanna to make sure we again run it. But one of the key things we're gonna to need to do, let's make sure we select the correct environment. 42C Pixie, and we can see the Postman API key and the API ID. Clicking run, and then unchecking the first create an API because now instead of doing the manual selection of the spec file, we are going to do the create API from the Postman schema. Again, this is a more desirable workflow, just adding in those extra variables so you don't actually have to manually choose that API file. Let's click on Run Test. And perfect, we passed all the things again. And you'll notice here the exact same result. So this is the same file. This is just a more seamless way to run through this process. Now, what we haven't yet done really is seen any of the specific results. We do see the API score 89 out of 100. We see that's a pass. 
What we want to do, though, is look at some of the details. Now, for the ideal uh, result here, we would go to the 42 Crunch platform and we would look at the results there. We would be able to use the interactive security editor. We could also do the same thing uh, by looking in our IDE. What I want to do here, though, is use this retrieve and visualize so that I can see a nice visualization directly here within Postman. So you'll see that I can do everything directly here. That is, I can get the collection, run the audit scan, and then see all the results directly here within Postman. I'll jump to the retrieve and visualize. This will retrieve the visualization from the most recent scan. And it's because it's stored the collection ID. So let's send that. And you can see here that we can click on visualize. Now we'll see a report. I'll go ahead and expand this. You can certainly ex further expand it. But what we have here is a high level summary of the issues that we're encountering within the open API file. You can see here that in total, we have 11 issues. We have uh, ranging from info to four issues of certain response items. And what we can really do, again, if we want to see more detail, is click directly through here. And in fact, it will allow us to browse directly here within Postman. Alternatively, of course, we can go ahead and jump into our browser and look at it there. This is the 42 Crunch security audit, as you can see. The security audit is calculated on more than 200 plus checks that range from checking the semantics and making sure it's a well-formed open API document to checking for security details and data validation concerns. All right, that wraps up how you can use Postman and 42Crunch to analyze your open API files. Thank you for watching.